welcome to San Francisco Chinatown. Our group is Jingo Athletic Association. We're based in San Francisco. And we have a long, illustrious history. Uh, Jingo was founded in 1909 in Shanghai, China. And the person who founded it was Ho Yun Cha, a very famous, talented individual. And he taught. In the school, you can, there were many styles. Because usually, in any Kung Fu or martial arts group, there's only one style. But he taught, or they learned many styles. They had guest teachers, and they learned had a regular curriculum. So our grandmaster, Wong Jackman, he brought over Jingbo to San Francisco in 1960. And he is very famous. Wong Jack Man is the man who fought Bruce Lee in Oakland, Chinatown in 1964. And this was done, um, there were movies made of this, um, Dragon with uh, Jason Scott Lee, and also, that was I think 1993, and also uh, Birth of the Dragon, which was 2016. And Generally, I think most people say it was a draw. But Bruce Lee changed his style right after this fight. And some even said he had medical care. But our uh, grandmaster went to work the next day at Jackson Cafe on Clay Street. And there is an exhibit right now called We Are Bruce Lee. It's on Clay. Uh, 965 play. I think it's open today if you're is interested in seeing something about Bruce Lee. But we have many styles, many forms. I don't even know what set they're going to perform today. But uh, please enjoy the show. Thank you very much. We're going to move on to the lion dance. I wanted to tell you a little bit about lion dancing. I know a lot of people will come up to us and they'll say, are you guys going to do the dragon dance? Which we are not going to do the dragon dance. Um, this is a lion, so it usually needs just two people, one for the head and one for the tail. And a dragon, sometimes you will see in Chinatown, it could be anywhere from 10 people to 100 people using it. Um, and so I wanted to tell you a little story about how lion dancing started. So many, many, many years ago in China, the villagers were all getting together and they were complaining about an evil creature coming down from the mountainside and eating up all their crops. And so they said, if we don't do something about it, we are going to starve. And so they had heard that the emperor had come with visitors, and these visitors were from Persia, and they brought these creatures called lions, because lions have never been in China before. And so they, they, met, they didn't see a lion before. So they said, what are we going to do? What, what will it look like? And so they decided a lion would look like this. They decided that a lion would have a strong and fierce horn on top of his head. They decided that a lion would have big eyes that could blink and see in the dark. They decided that a lion would have a big mouth with sharp teeth to bite the legal creatures. They decided that a lion would have a beard and that is the symbol of wisdom that only comes with age. And if my lion could turn around, they also have a cute little tail. Okay, but the most important part of a lion, and many of the lions that you will see today have this very important mirror on the top. Can you see the mirror? So that mirror is very, very important because when evil sees its own face in the mirror, it turns and it runs away and it never comes back. So this is why you guys will see we have lion dancings for grand openings, for wedding and ginger parties, for birthdays, for housewarmings. Any occasion that you need to bring good luck and good fortune, we always have a lion dance. So today we will be having a lion dance. The lion is going to play, he's going to come up to you, he's going to blink his eyes. And then after dancing, the lion is going to be really tired. And so he's going to have to take a nap like we all need. I could use a nap right now. Um, and then after the nap, it's going to get really hungry. So, lion is going to need something to eat. It's not going to eat you guys, but it will have the lucky candy, and it's going to want to share the lucky candy with you. So it's going to spit the lucky candy at you, right here. Um, 
But what I need from you guys is to please stay. <laughs> stay where you are. Because the thing is, when you have a lion head on top of you, you can't really see what's in front of you. So if you guys are gonna run out, then you might get hit by the lion or we might run over you guys, okay? Um, so after that, we are going to have the lucky banner to wish you good luck. And that will be your Kodak moment where you guys can take pictures. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you guys for coming to Chinatown.